What are you looking at? You don't like my pink shirt? What? I can't paint my nails? I can't get in touch with my feminine side? What? 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 What's going on guys? Cameron Earth Canadian Gamer. Not much to talk about today. Uh, I have a main topic that I will bring up in a couple of minutes. Um, just a few things I wanted to talk about before we get started here. Just a few small items to talk about. Again, don't want to talk too much about the drama, but man oh man, is there a lot of people in this community playing both sides of the fence recently. It's just a travesty. You know, not to name names, but you know who you are. Um, there's one guy in particular that, you know, seemed trustworthy enough. And uh, as again, those of you who don't know, I was recently a victim of uh, doxing, and uh, which is a horrible thing. Uh, it's it's like identity theft almost, basically identity theft. And this person who you know is a regular in my comment section, I saw him over. In the comment section on the Over the Top podcast, I saw him in the comment section at Top Loaded Gaming, and then today I saw him over at OT Gaming's comment section as well. Now, this is a guy that was like, oh, I unsubscribed from Rick because I just, you know, it was way too much drama, it was too much negativity, I can't handle it. And then I turn around and the very same guy is sleeping with the enemy, and he's right in there, you know, reveling in all the juicy gossip and all the negativity that one can muster. So, again, for anybody watching this video, I don't care about how many subscribers I have. I want real people on this channel. And if you guys, if any of you are in any of those comment sections that I mentioned or even Smash JT, you're basically not welcome on my channel. So stop now if you're trying to post a comment on this video. Don't bother. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I want real people on this channel. I don't want people playing both sides of the fence. That's not how we operate on this channel. So now that we got that out of the way, I do want to give a quick shout out to 3F Jab because I saw you in the comment section and I saw the things that you, you said and you were sticking up for some of us in the community and uh, you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Top Loaded Gaming, and I really appreciate that, man. So, other than that, did you guys see MJR's new video today? Oh, my God. The guy's turned into a freaking infomercial. <laughs> what the hell was that that he was showing off? Holy f***. Good Lord. Good Lord. Nothing but quality. Excuse me while I take a sip of my bum wine. So what I really want to talk about today, again, how are we doing for time here? Already at the four minute mark? Yeah, we're doing okay. What I want to talk about getting closer to Valentine's Day, it's, a, it's actually a serious topic, but a lot of people, myself included, have been guilty of this. And that's basically when you're in a relationship, you hide the fact that you're a gamer. You don't talk about it openly. Uh, maybe your girlfriend doesn't even know that you have a video game collection. Case in point, I'll share a small story with you. Uh, I was in a relationship last year. Beautiful woman. Uh, very attractive. Personality, eh. <laughs> but that's besides the point. The point is, she would come over to my place and I'd keep the door closed to the games room. I didn't want her to see what, that, what was in here. You know, I didn't really let on that I was a gamer. I had the Xbox downstairs, but I have like one of the uh, the remotes for it. So I put the controller away. Try to just, you know, keep it under the radar. She opened up the door one day to see what was in this room and she saw the games. She didn't say anything. God knows what she thought. <laughs> but 
it's something that is important to talk about because why? If you're in a relationship and you have to hide the fact that you're a gamer, is it really worth being in that type of relationship? The person needs to accept you for who you are and uh, you can't be, you know, putting your games away or hiding a dark secret that you're a gamer just for the sake of a relationship. It's just not worth it. So yeah, it is difficult because majority of the women out there, at least the women that I date, they sure as hell aren't gamers. So it is kind of a tough conversation to have. Um, obviously, if you're married to somebody, that's a little bit different because you're already in too deep, I guess you could say. <laughs> and if your wife loves you enough, she's going to obviously accept you for whatever collections you may have, whether it be video games, comic books, movies, music, whatever. But just being in a you know, a relationship, um, let's say you just got in the relationship like a month ago, you need to have these conversations. You can't, the longer you avoid it, the worse it's going to get when they find out about it. And uh, again, it's not it's not an easy conversation to have. Uh, a lot of people, let, let's be honest, it, it can be kind of embarrassing to admit that you've got a video game collection. Um, you know, what's that person going to think? Uh, are they going to kick me to the curb? <laughs> Are they going to think I'm a fucking nerd? Like, yeah, all kinds of things go through your head. But again, at the end of the day, what's the point of drawing a relationship out, you know, six to seven months into it? And all of a sudden you find out she finds out you have a video game collection and she wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> so, again, these are serious things to talk about. And uh, I thought it was serious enough to, to bring it up. I know a lot of you guys out there and gals probably experienced the same sort of issues as well so uh, what's the best way to approach it like i said just be honest with your partner um you know like i said it's not realistic to try to go out there and, and find somebody that will date you that's into video games i don't think that's realistic i think obviously if you find somebody out there that you really enjoy their company you know maybe just approach it in a way where again it's it's a passionate hobby of yours and um, don't come across like you're some vicious addict <laughs> like some people on this platform. But there has to be some sort of a happy medium. It, it, there needs to be communication. You need to open up the dialogue. And uh, the, the more you talk about it, the better it will be in the long run. Because like I said, take it from me. I, I kind of hit it. I've always hit it from all the relationships I've ever been in. And uh, I don't think it ever really did me any favors. <laughs> so, you know, I'm sort of seeing somebody right now. And, uh, you know, the most she games would be, oh, I got an SN SNES classic and I'm good at, at Mario Kart. And it's like, okay. <laughs> at that point, it's like she's not really into gaming, obviously. She just picked it up for, the, uh, for nostalgic reasons. But, hey, it's a start. <laughs> but if you can... Maybe in the comments, talk about if you were to introduce your partner to gaming, what are some games that would be appropriate to basically play on the couch, you know, with your significant other that's not going to turn them off. Obviously, you're not going to play Grand Theft Auto or Call of Duty. Maybe you would, but I'm thinking something a little bit more, uh, how should I say, slower paced, maybe just you know, roll them into it. Maybe maybe a Super NES Classic would be the way to go if you're trying to play with your girlfriend, play, sorry, play games with your girlfriend, excuse me. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I think something like, um, I don't know. Yeah, Rock Band, Guitar Hero. Those are some good options as well. Uh, Crash Bandicoot, something lighthearted, right? You don't want to scare them away too fast. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all I wanted to say. We're just about at the 10-minute mark. Just a quick video here. Uh, I am working on my wrestling video that I hope to have up this weekend as well, where I talk about when I grew up as a kid, how I was introduced to the WWF, and some of the games I played along the way that, uh, again, had to do with that sort of genre as well. Pro wrestling on the NES, obviously WrestleMania on the Super NES, all those classic games. So that's pretty much going to do it, guys. I really hope you enjoy my new pink shirt. Getting in touch with my feminine side. Painting my nails. Thanks so much for watching, guys. You people are wonderful and beautiful. You take care.